there she is the Shimano Shimano no I know it's Shimano SLX DC uh, apparently I real left-handed so I'm wrong-handed in some people's minds but I feel like I'm right-handed but yeah um, I hear this reel is a great reel um, it's 8 to 2 gear ratio I don't know if it's gonna focus um, I hear it's a great reel I'm usually more of a budget fisherman when it comes to reels and rods I usually use what's cheaper but not the cheapest you know I'll use decent stuff but I, I splurged a little bit and bought a bought a nicer reel so I've heard great things about it I'm hearing these little canals just gonna throw a spinnerbait around don't really plan to catch anything there are bass in here but it is hotter than anything I've ever like it is the hottest day of the year by far so um, I'm gonna throw it around give you my impressions I believe it's going to be a really good reel because it's it's pricey, but everything I've ever read on it and everything I've ever watched on it, people really like it. So we'll give it a try and uh, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. All right, just walked up. I got my tension um, pretty tight. I got it on two right now. I hear that's what you want on braid. So I'm just going to throw the spinnerbait and see how it feels. First cast. Ooh. Okay, that felt smooth. I'm not gonna be able to gun it yet because I'm in a tight area, you know, there's bushes all around me. But um, I'm gonna get up here without, oh, that's slick. I knew it was gonna be slick. You gotta, you gotta test these spots, they'll get you, look at this. You step on that, that that's slime, that's ice. It's like ice. Okay, okay. Slow roll the spinner bait. There are bass in here. I've caught them pretty good sometimes. Oh, something just bumped it. It was a perch. I don't know if the camera caught that. It really does like stop itself. So, let me try to show you this again. So I'm not gonna put any thumb on it. I'm just gonna cast it. Oh man, that's weird. Let me try to loosen this tension up. Put it on three. Put it on three. Put the tension knob a little, a little looser. I just want to see something. Like I said, I'm feeling this bad boy out. Got any wiggle on the tension knob? Not yet. A little, little bit, a little bit. A little bit on the spool. I mean, not tension knob. All right. That was pretty good. Look at that, he just hit a minnow right in front of me. Yeah, these bass are very, very hard to catch. They're, they're really smart. Okay, on three, this is kind of loose. It's kind of loose. Let's try that out. It's got that whine to it. That I've caught nice redfish back here, believe it or not, and trout before. I'm not even trying to fish. I'm just kind of feeling this reel out. Okay, that's a little tight. I might have to go back to two. Might have to go back to two. Let's go over here. Go back to two. I'm pretty sure one takes away the uh, chip, the little computer chip that adjust your casting so here we go i'm just gonna throw it no thumb okay it, it did stop it wow it really did stop it so you know if you were to try that with with a regular bait caster with braid and you just flung it out there no thumb look at that dude that is awesome Wow, I already love this reel. I already love it. Two might be the magic one, the magic number. Now it won't it won't help you from slapping trees that's behind you. That's something you gotta, you know, take care of yourself. 
kind of comes down to just, you know, looking before you cast, which I don't do that often. I just don't know how tight to put this. I'm going to try to gun it out there. Man, that, that chip really does stop it on a dime. I'm not trying to catch a fish. I'm just kind of playing around. What does one do? Let's go to one. Now, I, don't, I think this takes away all the chip. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, definitely loosened it up a lot. So I can see with this reel, if you're trying to cast into wind with a, you know, with any lure, but especially light lures, I can see if you're trying to really gun a lure against the wind, I can see where that chip is gonna be amazing. See, I have no wind really affecting me right here. I'm kind of protected. But it is windy, but I mean, at this point, there's no wind really affecting my cast. So one takes away all that technology, it seems like, well, most of it. We'll get the wine on camera. I'm not really casting hard. All right, I'm gonna try to take the thumb off completely again. Throw it up high. Look at that. That's awesome. Man, have we moved up in the fishing world as far as these crazy reels? I seen this honestly, and I was like, man, look at that gimmick. But then I kept hearing about it and everyone kept talking about it, saying how awesome it is. So I had to try it. Man, I like this reel. Like I said, I believe one takes away all of it. So I loosened the knob up, the spool. The spool was a lot looser that time and it barely backlashed. It didn't even backlash, it just kinda, just kinda, you know. Man, this thing really does pick up line too. I can see if you're really trying to work a spinner very fast and you know, hit, 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 hit banks real quick as you're cruising with the trolling motor, searching for fish. This reel picks up some line. I'm, I'm not even trying to reel it and it's coming in fast. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to break it in, get some redfish on it. Not get snagged on a giant log, you know? But overall, it casts smooth, it feels smooth. Um, just feels like an awesome reel. Feels quality. The handles are nice. I like these handles. They just, I like the way they feel. You feel like you can get some good torque on a fish. So I feel like two with a looser, it's not really, okay, I could put it a lot looser actually, but like two with a, let me show you. This is, okay, this is not moving at all really right there. So I wanna go until it starts to give a little bit, starts to wiggle. Like right there, that's giving some wiggle. All right, and I'm just gonna throw it. Look at that. This, I, I can't get over that. You don't even need a thumb anymore. Heck yeah. This is gonna be a killer in the wind. You're just gonna be able to rip it and not even worry about it. This is a 15 or 20, I wanna say it's 15 pound Power Pro. Um, I actually took it off of a spinning reel and put it on here. It was a spinning reel I never used that broke, literally broke like second cast. And it was a Shimano Nasky. And I don't know what happened, I should have returned it. I just threw it in the closet. It has brand new line on it, so. This is brand new braid and uh, holy crap, that cast it hard. I'm starting to break in. Oh my God, I got, I didn't even see that bag. Well, I did catch something. Yeah, I got a nice one here. Look at this, oh man, catch and cook trash bag. 
It's gonna be delicious. Is that a trash bag? Yeah, it's some kind of bag. I can't even pull it out the water. There's so much water in it, but I'll get rid of this. I'll get this out of here. I just gotta get the water out of it. Um, but yeah, dude, this is a nice reel. It, it really is crazy that you could take this reel, whip it out there like that, and just boom. And what happens here is the, um, I believe as you're cranking it, correct me if I'm wrong, it recharges the chip in there. So you don't have to charge a battery. It charges itself as you're, you know, reeling in your lures. It's a great reel. As far as first impressions, I am going to put it in salt water and fish the heck out of it on, you know, for redfish. And we'll see how that works out. And I will do another, I guess, review of it over time. See how it held up. But right now I'm loving this. Like, let's see what, let's go all the way to, let's go back to three and let's just whip it. Three stops it on a dime. Now, that was me. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your finger on it after it's hit the water. Otherwise this spool kind of spins around. But I like this reel. 